Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 21st, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about a second coal ash incident at Sutton Lake near Wilmington, North Carolina. But before I do, I'd just like to talk about how the impacts of fossil fuel burning appear to have come full circle in the form of an intensified Hurricane Florence, which is now resulting in the toxic release of, of coal ash into waterways due to flooding and overtopping of dams and and flooding of coal ash fields near power plants near Wilmington, North Carolina. And the way this works is that fossil fuel burning itself produces a cascade of, of harmful effects. In, in, in the case of human-caused climate change, fossil fuel burning is the primary driver of human-forced global warming and a warming atmosphere and a warming ocean have been implicated by scientific studies to have increased, among other things, the rainfall potential of Hurricane Florence by over 50%. Fossil fuel burning in North Carolina in the form of burning coal produces large coal ash fields, which contain a number of toxic materials and already produce a risk to local waterways and local groundwater sources. But that risk is compounded when severe storms such as Florence amplified by effects based on human climate cause climate change such as coal burning end up resulting in heavier rainfall events that put those toxic coal fields at increasing risk of release into the larger environment. I'm going to just go ahead and show you a picture of a Sutton Lake overtopping an earthen dike and flooding out into the surrounding lands. And just go ahead and, and read you or provide for you a, an assessment of the overall situation. So, so according to reports, the dam at Sutton Lake, which is a 100, I'm sorry, 1,100 acre reservoir near a Wilmington coal power plant has overtopped. And there are various breaches in the earthen structure that are sending a large release of water from this lake into the surrounding area. Waters have also op overtopped a steel retaining wall containing one of three coal ash dumps, inundating 400,000 cubic yards of coal ash. And as a result, these bodies of water, these, these swollen bodies of water by Hurricane Florence, inundating coal ash fields have been linked and are now spreading uncontrolled into the surrounding environment. And so it's likely that coal ash contaminants are spilling into the reservoir and then into the surrounding lands. Now, coal ash contains toxic mercury and a number of other harmful heavy metal substances. And this image provided by physics.org shows a, a number of the impacts of coal ash in, in, a, in a typical situation, but the present situation is, is atypical. The present situation is one of complete inundation of coal fields and coal ash fields and the likely release of coal ash contaminants into the surrounding environment. Now it's worth noting that this particular series of events is a second event related to coal ash fields. In another instance, a, a, a separate coal ash field was breached by floodwaters and also spilled out into the local environment. So a, a number of interlinked negative impacts due to fossil fuel use and fossil fuel burning. Fossil fuel burning, which is the primary driver 
of human-caused climate change, human-caused climate change, which in turn amplifies storm impacts and has been found by scientific studies to have increased the rainfall of Florence by 50% or more. And the resulting damage that occurs to infrastructure related to toxic coal fields that are produced by coal burning and fossil fuel burning. So, so an interrelated chain of negative impacts due to fossil fuel burning presently impacting North Carolina in an unfortunately very tragic situation, but one that is preventable because we now have options to halt fossil fuel burning and transition to other energy sources like clean energy, like wind and solar, like electric vehicles that do not provide these same risks to the earth system and the human system that do not result in large toxic coal fields and that do not provide greenhouse gases to the atmosphere that amplify the effects of harmful storms. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.